Thank you so much, Marty. Well, say the name Arthur Shawcross, and what do you imagine? Well, you're right, uh, and you're not the only one. Lori Mara is a local playwright who has written a play about Arthur Shawcross, and she is with us in studio today. Uh, Lori is part of a uh, program at Jiva Theater called What's Next? And this is great because it gets all these playwrights together, and basically it takes your work and has people look at them and give you constructive criticism, uh, criticism that you wouldn't necessarily get from your family or your friends, right? Right. Um, Lori, first of all, uh, you're, you're from Rochester, so you were here when the Arthur Shawcross murders were happening. Yes. Um, what made you think about writing a play about Arthur Shawcross? Well, two things, really. I had suddenly heard on the news that he had died two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I started thinking about it because there was this interesting tie-in both with my life here in Rochester, but also I had moved here uh, to attend college from Watertown, mm -hmm. New York. And of course, many people here didn't realize that before he was the Genesee River killer, he had murdered two children in Watertown. Mm -hmm. And it was sort of uh, shocking to me all those years after they caught the Genesee River killer right. to hear that it was Arthur Shawcross because it was such a scary thing from my childhood. Okay. So. Now, when you think about Arthur Shawcross, I and mean, these are the images we think of him, uh, stoic, um, very scary looking. I mean, I can't even imagine what it would have been like to encounter him. But I have read about Arthur Shawcross's life. He was a very interesting man um, uh, is it in the sense that he befriended police officers. Uh, he would go to places where they hung out where the, 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 the local police watering holes and listen in on what they'd talk about. Some very bizarre behavior on his part. What did you learn about Arthur Shawcross through your, um, uh, through your research? I did do a tremendous amount of research. I love to do that with all of my plays. I really dive in, and so I, I did do a lot of research on Arthur Shawcross. I found out a couple of things, but I think one of the things that, one of the lines that I read in one of the biographies that I took and sort of wanted to capture the essence in the play is, um, one of the psychologists who had studied him said, well, this is a guy who, if you're sitting with him, comes off of, of just being a typical upstate New York guy. And I thought, how does someone with this kind of mind uh, personify that on a day-to-day -day level? Mm -hmm. Because he really was a very, very troubled individual mm -hmm. from very, very uh, childhood as a, yeah. as a youth right on through, always in and out of jail. Um, and really, it was, a, it was a difficult thing to study to do the play. It really was. It was frightening and, and quite horrific. Um, so there's these sort of two sides to him. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was uh, very interesting. The play itself, though, is about a journalist who scores you know, what we would call in the business a big, you know, a get, you know, a really a great interview. Um, but something happens to that journalist, he discovers something else, uh, not necessarily about Arthur Shawcross. Right. So. so the playwright part of me wanted to study what it's like for a person who would sort of be considered mainstream normal person mm -hmm. in society and what happens when they come into that space of a serial killer in that mind and what kind of effect that can have on a person and so I really wanted to study that that perspective and that's what I sort of allowed myself to do so the journalist is is quite the focal point of, of yeah. the play um, now, how many characters, you have a, a, per, a character playing Arthur Shawcross? Yes. Um, what were some of the requirements for that uh, actor? Uh, what, what did you look for, or what are you looking for in that actor? Well, actually, uh, the director from Jiva, Jean Ryan, cast, cast the, the role, and I've seen it in the first reading. This had one reading in the regional playwright series, and the person she cast is absolutely perfect. So yeah. um, they just did a wonderful job of, of getting someone who could give you that sort of I'm this regular guy until yeah. he really gets into his dialogue. Yeah, now mm -hmm. this uh, next, or rather this What Next Festival of New Theater goes from November 4th uh, through the 14th. It already started, yes. uh, goes through the 14th, and so when will people be able to go see uh, your work? The work is being read Wednesday night, okay. uh, November 10th right. at 7 p.m. Which also is the second anniversary of his death yeah. to the day. It was a little creepy because it was completely coincidental. Yeah. Um, can you tell us what's next or are you just strictly focusing on this right now as far for your work? Oh no, I tell people I have many voices in my head. <laughs> <So> <laughs> okay. I'm working on quite a bit. Right now I'm working on something. I'm going back to my roots which is comedy. Okay, thank you. And I'm goodness. working on a farce. Okay. So that will be Wonderful. kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> well Lori, thank you so much for being with us. Thank and you. And again, you can see Lori's work about Arthur Shawcross at Jiva Theater this Wednesday, November 10th, 
uh, and hopefully it'll be on a stage uh, near you somewhere in the future too as well. I hope so. That's yeah. what I'm hoping for. All right. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, Norma. All right.